Guys, welcome back. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at this guy right here. This is the Electric Eye Audio Thrasher Pedal. Don't go anywhere. Guys, before we get into the meat and potatoes of today's video, I just want to say thank you so much for coming to the channel and the continued support. You guys mean the freaking world to me. Secondly, Marty over at Motor City Guitars, the owner, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to check this pedal out and demo it with all you guys here in real time. Um, I have not taken this out of the package or anything yet, so uh, yeah, we'll just do a quick little you know, half-ass uh, unboxing for you guys. And thanks everybody else at Motor City too for the support. You guys are, you guys are all awesome. So we got a little thing that says, stop! Thank you for buying the Thrasher. A tribute to the classic tones from the 80s thrash metal. Think about a strongly boosted JCM 800. That sounds really killer. That means a lot of gains. Considering use, consider using a noise gate after the pedal, especially on the New York settings. So I got a, actually I'll pan over here in a second, show you guys what the setup is gonna be on this. Uh, you know, the rig that I'm currently running through. Uh, let's see what else is in here. That's the buttons. The thrasher. Posers must die. Awesome. Uh, looks like we got another button. Uh, same thing, just a little bit smaller. Yes, yes. And then last but not least, I think, the pedal itself. We got a little instruction manual. I'll go over that in a second with you guys. But here's the pedal itself. Let me take it out of here. Okay, so this is what we're dealing with. I'll make sure I got a camera on here so you guys can, um, you know, see what I'm doing as far as dabbling with, because we are going to turn some knobs as we're playing along through here. We got treble, we got bass, we got the mids, we got the volume control, the gain, obviously, and then you either get the New York or the Bay Area settings. So let me, um, this guy right here, I think, will explain a little bit of uh, what's going on with this pedal. So it says at the top, once upon a time back in the mid 80s, there was a genre of music that used to make badass kids with wild mosh pits and crushing guitar tones. No BS, love songs. Sorry, I got to censor uh, the words because YouTube just keeps getting pussified. Everything we do in society now is pussified. No BS, love songs. And if you are dare to wear a shirt uh, from a band that you've never listened to, it would be the shh out of you and tell you posers must die. A little bit of layout here. What's going on if you guys want to pause it or but we'll kind of go over that as we uh, demo this pedal. So yeah the T on the pedal stands for for killer riffs and chug tones don't go over the thrasher setting even at 11 o'clock it's already enough. Let's see we'll see about that. I'm just gonna push the envelope anyway just because it's fun to do. And then the S stands for shredder. On this setting, you're gonna have enough gain for hours of shredding. That's awesome. Probably more like for soloing and stuff for you, which I just don't get into. It's just not my thing. Never has been, never will be. And then the N right there at the bottom uh, stands for nope. Don't do that. Are you nuts? And then the boost voicing, that little switch that I showed you guys. Here you're going to have two different gain boost voices. Bay Area is darker and more traditional, while New York has more Scott Ian-ish vibes, super tight and modern. So without further ado, let's jump in. We'll get closer to uh, actually demoing this. First I'll show you the rig and we'll go from there. So my current rig is as follows right here. This is what we'll be uh, you know, plugging the pedal in through. So we'll start right here with the mic. This is a Shure SM57 that I just got. Uh, maybe about a week ago I picked it up and this seemed to be the best position when I was kind of playing around with it. So I got it roughly about an inch away from the grill. And you can see it's offset just a little bit. Um, eliminates, you know, too much fizziness and got a little more low end out of it as opposed to being dead center. I didn't quite like that. So uh, right about there is what we're going to roll with, just like that. 440 Live Cab. This has got Celestian Vintage 30s in it. And then um, my PV Invective Mini Head, 20 Water. Uh, that's usually where I have that's well that's where I had it when I was um, just playing around like doing my Instagram reels and stuff and just kind of getting a feel for the new mic setup because uh, this thing is this mic is pretty uh, pretty heavy on the mids I'm not really a mid guy anyway I've always liked the early 90s scoop kind of sound so uh, I'd already had quite a bit of mids on board not to mention uh, the pickup particular pickups that I was playing through 
See, I just kind of scoop that crap out of there. And then uh, I usually have this engaged too. This is the MXR 10 band KFK, Carry King. You can have that engaged. Uh, so we're going to unplug that. And in its place is going to go the Thrasher pedal. And then this does have an onboard noise gate. Okay, I think I got everything figured out. So my ass is sit right there. Here's my makeshift tripod. Some CDs. A candle. Uh, I would love to burn that right now because it smells better in here. And, and I got the camera, my, my actual phone, my cheap old poor man's free phone. Aimed at the thrashers, you guys can see what the hell I'm doing when I'm turning the knobs. So hopefully this setup works. All right, so we're just kind of using the pedal as a preamp. That was kind of uh, what the instructions were as far as running that pedal. So I got it through the clean channel right now. I have not engaged it yet. So let's see what happens. the noisy pedal. Alright guys, I think we're getting somewhere. So I tried the effects loop. You guys heard how much horrendous noise was coming out of there. I tried adding my uh, my noise gate, my key in the gate to it. Did dick. So I just said, you know what? I'm going to try something a little bit ballsy. I'm just going to go right through the front of the amp. And so far, that's the best result. So we're just going to try that. So let's engage the thrasher. Start recording so you guys don't hear just the uh, audio coming from the phone itself. Here we go. Uh, let's engage a little bit of highs just from the amp. And we'll go. We'll go at noon with it. Keep the gain right over around where it is. So we're at New York setting. Check the volume up a little bit on this guy.
miss that pinch harmonic, but whatever. <laughs> play it back but we'll see when we get there and yeah, a little bit of bass let's throw another guitar in this mix get my Jeff Hanneman going This, now we're going to active pickups and we're going down a half a step E flat standard. Right, we're going to push the gain a little bit. Don't tip over. None of that Jenga nonsense. Uh, this is why I'm like challenged when it comes to making videos that pertain to audio because shit like this happens. We're still going to push the gain a little bit. God, this irritates me. All right, this chord's gonna counter the jingle-like effect. Yeah, and it's gonna keep you right there, asshole. Jerk, prick. Touchy after you get to that that little T right there. Let me add a little bit of highs from the amplifier. Go to six. That's too much. That's too much. Uh, I'm each in the middle. Five and a half. see what kind of death metal tunes we can get. So we're going to go a little lower. Did I knock that camera over? I did not. Good. Oh, what to do, what to do. Alright, we're going to grab the roads. Now we're in standard B tuning.
mids. and scoop the mids. See if we can get that early 90s sound. Alright, so where are we at? We're about like, I don't know, 10 o'clock. <laughs> clock mids. So these uh these are the Duncan full shreds that are in this one. Let's go even lower, shall we? Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh yeah, let's do that. So you guys have not seen this guitar in a while. So we got this one in drop G now. Fresh strings, you can still smell the oil off of this thing. Alright, let's, uh, let's start chugging away. Here, hang on, let's switch back to uh, New York. setting a little better. It's just not as clamped down as the uh, 
the Bay Area one is. So let's push, uh, let's push the limits with the gain a little bit because we still haven't really pushed it yet. G570. And then that will be a wrap, gentlemen and zero ladies. Okay. Ooh, this guitar just packs so much heat. That's still too much. Dude, it just sinks its teeth into it, man. I really like that. What? Let me back the mids off a little bit.
For the most part, guys, that was like 90% off the top of my head. Nothing was even rehearsed, prepared, nothing. That was me like warming up as I was doing all this. And I'm starting to run out of freaking light. So let's kill the noise. Boop. Yeah, you guys can hear that right there. I don't know if you can. Let's try that again. It sounds like there's a little bit of crowd in that stadium. But it's nothing like what it was when it was through the effects loop. I don't know if that's just uh, something I might have been doing wrong or if it's the pedal itself in conjunction with the effects loop. I have no idea, but I got a lot cleaner result just going through the front of the amp. That was just me, though. But it was, like, unbearable through the effects loop. <laughs> Guys, I thought I was done, but I'm not. I just... Found a really killer tone for my beast, and I gotta keep playing. working on that, it just came up with that. It like complements these other two riffs that I've had laying around, this other one that goes. sounds good to me. That's my theory. If it sounds cool, it is.
I could do this for hours, man. <laughs> This thing sounds so pissed, man. Like, it, it hates your family, dude. It sounds so mad. It sounds so upset. I love it. Once you dabble with the pedal a little bit, you know, just like anything else, you'll find what you're looking for. And I certainly, at least in the room anyway, I found exactly what I was looking for through this guy right here. Yeah, this is my Chinese beast. This is uh, the very first beast that I ended up getting. And then when I threw that Black Winter in, it was just, this thing just sounds like pure hell and I freaking love it.
of all, I hope you made it this far through the video. I know it was a very, very long video, but uh, it's been a long time since I, you know, had a piece of equipment like this, a piece of uh, gear to review for you guys, and just sit there and have fun with it, however long it was going to take me to uh, get through the whole thing. But I had a blast freaking playing around with this pedal, seriously. So um, I haven't adjusted anything. This is exactly the setting. If this thing would freaking focus, God damn it! Let's try it again. <laughs> I'm always having technical difficulties every time I make a goddamn video. All right, hopefully you guys can see that shit. So that is the settings that I had that I came up with when I got to the end as far as um, finally getting a, uh, a tone that I was really, really into. And um, you know that's obviously what caused me to uh, continue to play. And I thought the video was gonna be over with. And then you know when I shut the camera off, I ended up uh, finding this setting and I just, fell in love and I just continued to play so that's why this video got a little bit more extensive a little bit longer and um, fortunately um, I got more time uh, to demo this thing so I was able to put some uh, some recordings together for you guys make some uh, drum tracks and see what it sounded like in a mix you know on top of uh, what I was already doing with it for you guys but no this thing is freaking badass what I'm noticing with this is I just I like that New York setting a lot better you guys can see that. I like that New York setting a lot better. Um, it's a little more on the loosey-goosey side. Uh, not as tight as the Bay Area. That's just, it seems to be like, you know, uh, kind of like what I prefer. At least that's, uh, you know, like as far as my playing style. So that's gonna do it for this video, guys. I know it's been a very, very long, extensive video, but uh, yeah, definitely be on the lookout. I'm gonna be doing a lot more recordings, just a lot more demo work with this thing as time goes on. This thing is, it's freaking incredible. I, I freaking love this thing. This is such a badass pedal. I mean, I was already getting pretty good uh, halfway decent uh, tones that I was pretty happy with, but this like just took it to a whole nother level. It just added just an extra layer, an extra coloring of, uh, you know, dirtying up my signal, to something that I really, really enjoyed. So uh, yeah, definitely be on the lookout. I'm going to be doing a lot, of, a lot more stuff as time goes on with this pedal, but that's going to do it, like I said, and um, I appreciate you guys coming to the channel, making it this far, all the watch time, all that stuff really helps me out. I really, really, truly appreciate you guys. So I'm going to leave you with the metal horns as always. You guys take care. Bye-bye.